time, distance and speed. So before going this topic and before doing the shortcut methods, let's start with easy problems. And we know already the basic formula of the relation between time, distance and speed. No? Speed is equals to distance by time. That means distance is equals to speed into time. From the first formula, I can make this. Or else, then time is equals to distance by speed. The time is equals to. So, t is equals to. Time is equals to distance by speed. To find out the speed, we need to use the distance by time. Okay. The, a bus travels a distance of 400 kilometers in 10 hours. What is its speed in kilometers per hour? So, this is a direct formula. Then speed is equals to distance by time. Distance is in kilometers, time is in hours. 400 by 10. So, 40 kilometers per hour. And one more thing to convert into kilometer per hour to meter per second. So, we have the simple basic formula to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. To convert into meter per second, we just to multiply the answer with 5 by 18. Multiply with 5 by 18, it will convert into meter per second. And same way, reverse that is meter per second to convert into kilometer per hour, we have to multiply with 18 by 5. So remember, is kilometer per hour, meter per second is like small unit, no? multiply with 5 by 18, reverse is 18 by 5 even in this problem a distance between two stations is 720 kilometers a train takes four hours to cover this distance calculate the speed of the train in kilometer per hour and meter per second so speed is equal to distance by time distance is 720 kilometers time took four hours 720 divided by four cancel this four times one is four thirty two eight zero so 180 kilometers per hour it is. Now to convert this 180 kilometer per hour into meter per second, we have to multiply it 5 by 18. So 18 times 10, 5 into 10, 50 meter per second. One second train will reach 50 meters. This for 1 hour, 180 kilometers. That's same now. These are the basic things. Let's start with the shortcut method like these problems. Okay, from third onwards, few sums I'll show you the direct methods. Question is, a man travels to work every day in his car while going to office. He drives at speed of 30 km per hour and on return journey, he drives at speed of 48 km per hour. So, while he's going 30 km per hour and return 45 km per hour. What is his average speed of the travel? Should not take normal average formula. Not like 30 plus 45 by 2. Just you have to take the average formula for this. To find out the average. Return and onwards. 30 and 45. So to find out this, you can use 2AB by A plus B. This is the direct formula. That means 2 into A into B. A is a one way speed and return is B. That is 30 into 45 divided by 30 plus 45. If you calculate, that is the average speed. Okay, the direct problem 30, 2 into 30, 60. Again into 45. So 2700 by 75. 30 plus 45. You can simplify 36 kilometers per hour. Don't do normal average, this is completely different. When you come to the speed distance time, the average is 2AB by A plus B. So while going, it is A and same distance is covered, it is B. So 2AB by A plus B can apply. And one more question. These type of questions are the explain exams. Two runners cover the same distance at the rate of 18 km per hour and 20 km per hour respectively. Find the distance travelled when one takes 24 minutes more than the other. So, distance is same. Same distance, two runners are covering with the, at the rate of 18 km per hour speed. One is going with 20 km per hour. So, find the distance travelled. One takes 24 minutes more than the other. So, I will give the diet formula for this. So, distance is equals to. 
so different speeds they walk and one is covering with some more distance because speed is the more for one of the person so he is covering 24 minutes more to find out the distance multiplication of speeds the direct formula is instead of taking let x and and using the formula you can use this multiplication of speeds means both the persons multiplication of the speeds by difference of speeds divided by difference difference of speeds into distance a uh, difference in time taken time difference also difference in time how much time difference so this is the straight formula to apply multiplication of the speeds so one is 18 km per hour one is 20 uh, km per hour speed no and difference of the speeds is difference that is 20 minus 18 take the bigger number minus small number into time difference 24 minutes more so 24 convert into hours by 60 this if we can calculate we will get the distance directly 18 into 20 360 by 2 into 24 by 60 so 6 6 is 36 66 are 360 and 2 times 1 3 24 into 3 72 72 kilometers is the distance that's why with this there uh, with these speeds if they'll go 24 minutes one person is taking more okay. this is the direct formula I remember mostly you can expect the questions you can apply and one more question I'll give you direct here is a man sets out cycle from Mumbai to Pune at very same time his friend sets out the cycle from Pune to Mumbai so one is opposite two are in opposite directions after crossing each other they complete their journey in four hours and nine hours after completing after meeting at certain point one is finished in four hours and finished in nine hours the remaining journey at what rate does the second man cycles if the first man cycle at the rate of 12 kilometers per hour? Okay, first one is going with 12 kilometers per hour speed. 12 kilometers per hour. What is the second person? To find out this, the direct formula is the speed. Speed of okay, person, this is one mistake m and l. So, speed of m by speed of l is equals to square root of balance time. So, so m person, m balance time divided by square root of n balance time. So, how much balance time they walked? Okay. You just by using this, you can make like this. Speed of the m, 12 by speed of n is x, and square root of is 4 and square root of 9. The given, no? so 12 by x is equals to 2 by 3. By doing this cross multiplication and simplifying, 12 to the 24 by 2 is uh, 36 by 2 is 18. So 18 kilometers per hour is the another person. So he's going with 18 kilometers per hour. 18 kilometers per hour, one is 12 kilometers per hour. After crossing, the balance time is 4 hours and 9 hours. Okay, so this way you can apply. And one more type. Okay, this also I'll give you a shortcut. You can expect the sums in this type. In case a doctor covers a certain distance in the Uber cab by increasing, so at the cab driver 5 kilometers per, fa uh, per hour faster. In case is going faster. It takes one hour less time to reach, right? Speed is increasing, no time will take less. In case if it takes three hours slow, then it take the one hour more. So find the original speed. Distance is same. By increasing the speed, time will reduce. By decreasing the speed, time is increased. In this case, to find out the speed, no need of taking lengthy, just you can apply the formula. Speed is equals to two into increase in speed into decrease in speed. Increase in speed, how much speed is increased into then how much is decreased? You can use this. 
decrease in speed this is the numerator part divided by difference in increase and decrease in speeds and difference difference in speeds both the speeds difference okay. just you can apply straight formula so 2 into how much increased first case uh, 5 and next part in case of decrease 3 divided by difference in speeds so 5 minus 3 no, sir, you'll get the answer 2 into 5 10 into 3 30 by 2 so 15 kilometers per hour so original speed so find the original speed and distance so original speed is 15 kilometers per hour the again using this speed you can find out the distance also speed is there then time taken okay even using this i'll give you the time also shortcut method i'll explain multiplication of the speeds actually 15 is original no? by increasing 5 and decreasing 3 that means it become 20 and 12 20 into 12 15 is the original increasing 5 so 20 and decreasing 3 12 divided by difference in speeds 20 minus 12 into difference in time taken so time difference time difference also so 5 and 3 Okay, so one hour less, one hour less here, and it will be more. No? So difference in time taken. So five minus three is two. Just you can simplify, you get answer. So two forty by eight into two. That is sixty kilometers. Okay. So the distance, no distance, we can take here, not time. So this is speed and distance must be here. They are asking the time and speed and distance. The distance is equals to sixty kilometers. Even if you getting the speed also by taking the time you can find out but to find out the speed this is the short method you can apply right okay so these are the few tricks so you can use in time speed and distance relation problems